for some days I have in need for a budget planner app but when I search for the budget planner app in Google or in Play Store I always find the apps are server connected and I think you shouldn't put your transaction details in the server side because you know servers are vulnerable and you don't want your hackers to show the logs so I have made a offline app so so this is this is a deployed on the virtual so if I go to virtual so you see this is this is the app I made and uh, this is the code is open source uh, this is public repository of mine you can check this out uh, at github maruf x86 and if I go to this app uh, everything is running on the local thing no server related thing going on so your data is safe and if I add some transaction so say salary so if I say 4000 US dollar and say income so this is add transaction so the transaction are added so what if if we close the tab see we close the tab and if I open the tab again the data is here so it is using the javascript to store the data locally so if i close my chrome no worries uh, the data will be saved in your local storage so okay let's make an android app from this one so i'll clone the repository Okay, so the clone repository is done now in this one uh, I'll open my VS code open folder so I'll use this one okay after opening my VS code I have to run some commands if I go to terminal I have to first run this command npm install at capacitor core capacitor CLI okay okay so this is installed after after that we need to run another command that is npx cap in it and it is asking for my app name so my app name will be budget planner and it is asking for the package ID so I will put roof dot budget planner after that we need to add the android platform so for to add the android platform we need to type npx cap add android okay this is giving me some errors okay so it is saying you must install it in your project first so, okay i will copy this one npm install at the right capacitor android after it installed we need to add the android platform so we will run the command again okay now it's, okay now we will copy our build fight app so you can now uh, open the build an android project into the android studio it will open the android studio okay yeah trust project yeah okay it is giving me some errors i don't know okay let's check again see this one okay let's check if our npm is installed or not uh, yeah our capacitor yeah all the files are installed let's check oh uh, yeah the capacitor is not working okay so it is saying delete the capacitor to configure tsm try again let's run the command again so it's created the capacitor to configure ts after that we need to at the android file. okay so android is already here so we need to let's delete this one and run the command again get the android file is added again okay i think yeah, now it's running okay so i have enabled the wireless debugging in developer mode in my phone 
Okay, so after that we need to go to running devices over here, PR devices over Wi-Fi. So I need to scan the Wi-Fi. Okay, yeah, my phone is connected now. So if I go here, yeah, this is my phone. Okay, yeah, my phone is connected now. Yeah, my phone is connected. So after that, if we run our app, it will run. Oh, the grid, the gradle build is running. Okay, we need to wait for this one. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, our app runs. Yeah, nice, 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 good. Can I add transaction? Let's say rent. My rent is 500 USD. Yeah, this is working fine. And that's how you can build your own Android app and using React Byte. Okay, so you see, if I if I try to install the app, you see there is a logo, and if we open the app. There is also a logo. So how we achieve the logo? So we need to go around here under Android under race. So there is a drawable. So under drawable, you will see the file splash.png. You see, there are various files with the various sizes. So you just need to change its name. Also, if I reveal in file explorer, so this is the file explorer. So you see. You need to just change, just swap your image with the splash.png name and it will work. But you need to change it in everywhere. So if I show you, you see, this is different formats going on over here. So if I go here, so if I go to this one, you see, map map, see, there are total kind of three square round and square again it's the same so you need to just swap the images with the right re renaming 